I love Jesus. And you out there just you out there eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. I love Jesus. You're doing everything he told you not to do. Bring it out. Do you not see the reaction, Charles? This is Christianity at its peak. You're looking at the product of Christianity. And you're looking at it. That's why you know they hate the Bible. Yes. In the Christian church, they say a lot of stuff that's not true. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right. 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 You have to honor God a certain way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Of course, of course. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the Christian you said this, so the Christians in America are are, are watered down. Go ahead. Right. Know, really believe walking the true walk like you said and honor God a certain way those are ones actually and it's already happening around the world right the right the modernism I was about to say well well I was gonna say just real quick because you're saying a lot you're saying a lot so I just want to we want to we want to attack each point I mean not attack but we want to make sure we understand each point that you're bringing out so you're saying a lot of Christians right now are being martyred around the world but guess what here's the thing you got to understand Let's get to Acts eleven twenty six so we make sure understand who the what what the real Christians are because what is a what is an actual Christian what is the definition of Christian in your mind? Someone who uh, basically believes in the sacrifice of, of uh, he believes in the sacrifice of Christ and, and, and truly carries that cross the way Jesus said to carry that cross. Right. Okay. And who will lay down their life for God, which is the ultimate sacrifice? Okay. What man? Got you. Know, you. If somebody really put a sword to your head about to chop your head, tell you to deny God. If you do not deny God, you, and, and it's so real, you know. Right, right. You're really about to get killed on some. Well, here's the thing. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. People who really deny, who honor God on that level who lay down their life for them, like Jesus said, lay down his life for his brother. When they get killed, right? Don't they deserve heaven? How did they honor Christ? How did they honor him? You said those people that honored him. What specifically do they do to honor him? Okay, so like you said, the things that. The things that you, uh, you you mentioned that they do not do in Christianity, like they commit adultery. Yes, there you go. Unless, there you go. God's laws are what they kept. Uh, okay, but we are all sinners. It does say that. We're all sinners, of course. Exactly. But we do have to, we do, I understand. That's, that's a part of saying like, okay, we're all sinners. We're born in sin and, and all this. So we have to be born again. Which right, right, right. A better type of people who truly honor God, but also... We gotta know that God, well, we can't just, we can't really put, God's knowledge is above our knowledge. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I just want you to understand. God tells you specifically one way how to approach him, how to honor him. Through Jesus Christ, right? Through, well, through Jesus Christ, through keeping his commandments. Revelation 14, 12. Yeah. Revelation 14, 12. I want to get that, and then I want I want to want you to understand there's specifics that are required. We're not talk, we're not over here just generalizing. We start tipping or tiptoeing around what we have to do because a lot of people will say, "Okay, I'm a Christian because I give food to the poor. Right. I give food to all the poor." The Bible doesn't tell you to do that. The Bible tells you to uh, to feed a specific people. The Bible tell, keeps telling you all these specific things that we're supposed to be doing, but we, in Christ, especially those in Christianity. They look to focus and try to serve God the way they want to serve God. Bring it out. That's the difference. And yeah. just like in America, in America, in the court system, you don't come the way you want to. The white man tells you how to come. If you had that cap on your head right now and you went to the court system, they, take it off. they would tell you to take it off. Yeah. What would you tell him? Well, you should accept me the way I am, white man. No, he's going to kick you the hell out. And now you next thing you know, contempt of court. Next thing you know, all, all kinds of stuff happened. Guess what? God is way of 
above what anything that the white man could ever aspire to. Right. So guess what? He requires you to come the way he told you. So real quick. Let's get, let's get it out the Bible. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. Read, watch this. Here watch the, this, Charles. Listen here is the patience of the saints. It's the patience of the saints. Read. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. One. And the faith of Jesus. It's a combination. Having faith in Jesus means you keep God's commandments. Right. That's what it means. John 14, 15. We, they read it to you earlier. So that you understand, this is what love is, John. I mean, Charles, watch this. John. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. If ye love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. So now we're going to get to the point. You, uh, you, you were saying that if we believe on Jesus dying for everybody. Here's the issue. Let's get Psalm 147. Who did God give his laws to? Because he said, in order for you to get, hold on, Matthew 19, 16. I'm sorry. Matthew 19, 16. How did, how did Christ said we'd get the kingdom of heaven? Jesus Christ himself. How did he say that a man will get the kingdom of heaven? Okay, there you go. You see, you see why I said Christianity says that? I just quoted it to you. That Christianity says you have to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Let me hear Jesus Christ out of his own mouth. The Read. book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Watch this, Charles. Watch this. And behold, one came and said unto him, uh -huh. Good master. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? What good thing that I have to do? You see, action, that I may have eternal life. What did Jesus say? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one, that is God. So he gave honor to the Father. Read on, but watch this. But if thou wilt enter into life. Now, if you want to enter into life, eternal life, keep the commandments. What did Christ say? Keep the commandments. That's what the black Messiah said. That's right. Keep the commandments. Watch this. Read. He said unto him, which Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. So guess what? Christ now starts going into specifics. How do you get the kingdom of heaven? No murder. Where do I find that at? Oh, I could find that in Exodus 20. Oh, thou shalt not kill. Oh. Them same commandments he told us in the past. Right. We continue to try, and Christianity told you to get away from them. Right. Why? Because, give me the man-made religions. Uh, man-made religions. I need that. Because you need to find something out about Christianity. And the martyrs that you're talking about that are dying around the world. These are who taught us the Christianity we know of now. This is who taught us the Christianity. Look at look at look at the look at the um what are they call the denominations. You got your Baptist church, right. Mormon, Seventh day Adventist, Jehovah's Witness, right. Pentecostal. Where did these things come from? Look at the years. What what were the real children of Israel that you know you are, Charles? What were we doing during these years? Ah yes we were in slavery. So hold on real quick, real quick. Hold on, Isaiah 29, 13. I, I, need you, I need you to hear Isaiah prophesied about us, Charles. He prophesied about us. So if God came and died for all people, Isaiah wouldn't have to prophesy this about the children of Israel. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Read. Wherefore the Lord said, uh -huh. for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. God. I, Christ, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. With their mouth, they honor, they, they, they try to honor me. That's why Christ had to quote this verse again in Matthew 15. That's why he had to quote this again. Watch this, read it on. And with their lips, you honor me. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. You're out there smoking weed. I love Jesus. I'm on you. You're out there fornicating. I love Jesus. And you out there just you out there eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. I love Jesus. You're doing everything he told you not to do. Wake them up. That's how you know they do not love Jesus. There is a hatred of Christ. You can see that. Even with the fact that we're bringing out God's word. And you do you not see the reaction, Charles? Bring it up. Do you not see the reaction, Charles? This is Christianity at its peak. You're looking at the product of Christianity. And you're looking at it. 
That's why you know they hate the Bible. Right. They hate the real Christ. Right. The black man that was Bring on the out. cross that died for the nation of Israel. Right. He didn't die for all people. Keep going. Watch this. But have removed their heart far from me. They removed their mind far from him. Why? Where is he found? God, Christ is found in his law. Right. But guess what they told you? Guess what the white man told you? Sunday is the Sabbath. Where in the Bible do we find that the first day becomes the Sabbath? For example, here's another one. Um, you can, you have to be baptized by water or else you're not saved. You see, that's, a, that's the Baptist. That's the Baptist. On and on, you see that we learn these in slavery. Right. Watch this. Read on. Isaiah, Isaiah's going to tell you. Hold on, Charles. Watch this. And their fear towards me. Their fear, the, sla the Israelites... Their fear towards Christ is taught how? It's taught by the precept of men. Here you go. What men? The white man. Bring it out. That's why the white man, then what would he do? He would use Christianity, Charles. Watch this. He would use Christianity to then do this to you, to teach this to you, right. which is not in any Bible ever published on the face of the earth. Wake him up. And he would also teach you that you must what? Love me as I'm destroying you and throwing your people on the slave ships and whooping you in the back, doing all kinds of stuff to you. Because guess what? What is he doing? He's there to justify himself in your eyes. is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word.